welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to switch gears a little bit and actually do nothing involving gears. Right. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a little maintenance today on the zero turn. So it's got about 42 hours on it and the manual says to change the hydrostatic filters and um, fluid somewhere between 10 and 50 hours of initial use. So we're going to do that today. All right, so let's go over what we're going to need. We're going to need 2050 oil, full synthetic, works good. A pair of filters. So built ourselves a little bit of space here. All right, so what we need to do is remove that black cover and we can take the filter off. There's one on each unit. You know what they say, work smarter, not harder. Well, this guard sure traps a lot of crap. Okay, cover, screws. It's nice and cool. All right, good deal. Okay. Okay. Now. Does my Ooh, it looks like my pan will reach both of them. So let's see, let's see here. Before I take these off, do my new filters physically match the old filters? And the answer is yes, they do. Okay, always check your parts first. Uh, we're gonna do that, huh? I got one of them loose. So, we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna knock these loose. Start draining. And the oil looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and let those drain. The next thing we got to do is get that little plug there loose. It's a 7 8 and they give you all of no freaking room to do this. Okay, so the other thing that they say to do for filling purposes is to I'll show you. You got to get under here and there's a plug right here on the side that that also is going to need to get popped out. It may be hard to see, um, but that we also have to knock loose. Go get an air hose or a leaf blower and knock all the dust off of it. Now that that's done, and I've taken the time to blow all the schmutz off at the top of these, we're going to look right here. There's a 11 sixteenths is our size. So, you want to pop, for crying out loud, pop this loose. Okay, so the other one has been removed. Terrific. Now, 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 we need to install our new filters. The old filter, there should be, yeah, more oil there to drain out. Perfect. Now that we have gone and lubricated the new seals, you're going to want to come in here and just quickly give this flange a wipe. Make sure it's pretty clean, which as a brand new mower, it sure should be. And we're going to go ahead and screw this filter on here. Tight enough. 
Remember, it's like a motor oil filter. Um, and if you're going to service your zero turn in the future, consider not tightening the ever loving crap out of these like the OE did because it does make servicing this a pain in the butt. So we'll go ahead and take the other filter off again, let it drain the rest of the way down. Okay, zip that new one on there. Give her a little <coughs> crank. Done. So that should not leak. That should all be good. We'll go ahead and wipe any residual oil off of here and we'll check for leaks. Now, you could do this. So you get your funnel and get that into the fill port. Now, you can do this one of a couple ways. You could either A, uh, trust the manufacturer and just put in what they think it, what they tell you it needs, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is you take out the side fill port plugs, which allows air to come out as you're filling, and fill it until a little bit of motor oil dribbles out and then throw the plug back in. So put your pan back underneath the transaxle you're about to fill, since it won't reach both. Well, actually, it will. This should take two point some odd quarts. So we're gonna go ahead and dump a quart in here. Yeah, this should take two full quarts without issue. It's pouring out now. So we'll move to the other side now. So this is what we followed to do this process. It's available on the manufacturer's website. So here's what we're going to do. Purge. So what it says to do here, disengage the brake, which we will do. Okay, so we're gonna lift this off the ground first. Okay, now we're gonna drop it back down, pull out our side plugs and our top plugs, and top the oil out because it should have taken a little bit in. So that is the job basically done. So now all we have to do is put the guards back on and that's pretty much it. We'll clean up the hydro units with the extra oil. Uh, with whatever oil ran off, we'll just clean that up real quick. We'll be in good shape. There you go. Guys, that is how you service your ZT2 2800s on a Hustler Raptor XD60. Um, yeah, it's really not a bad job actually. It's worth doing. So if you have one of these, don't wait until your hydros fail. Just do the service. You need 20W50 and a couple Stens filters and you're good to go. So I guess, I guess it's time to go mow. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one. Woo!